today's question is how to get rid of phlegm or mucus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when people have, especially respiratory conditions, they produce much more phlegm, mucus, or sputum, like there are different names which can be used. And, uh, well, the sources of uh, phlegm can be different. Some people can produce much more mucus in sinuses due to this sinus infection or nasal congestion or sinusitis. Some other people would have uh, mucus produced from the uh, lungs, bronchi, bronchioles, so they, they can produce mucus. It can be due to infection as well. It can also relate to diet, so there are kind of variety of possible explanation what exactly causes it. But what has been found uh, practically, and this is what I, I've seen in hundreds of my students who practice breathing retraining, that once people start to improve their body oxygen levels, and we do, we do a simple body oxygen test, DIY body oxygen test, which measures how much oxygen pe people have. So the normal number is around 40 seconds, and our ideal number, as Soviet doctors uh, tested on literally half million of people, people need to have about 60 seconds for this test. But when my students start the journey, the way, like how we retrain the breathing, we usually start, of course, with very low numbers because we never understood and we never realized the importance of breathing and the importance of good body oxygenation. So we start with about 10-15 seconds, very low result for the body oxygen test. And at this stage, the immune system is suppressed and people are able to have frequent infections. So therefore, the sinus infections and the lung infection can be very frequent. It can be bronchitis, sinusitis, again, people with cystic fibrosis, asthma, many other conditions commonly experience problems, again, with mucus uh, in the sinuses or in the lungs. And uh, when mucus is uh, green and yellow, this is kind of known fact that indicates that the immune system were able to defeat bacteria, and these are already dead uh, pathogens, viruses, or bacteria, which, are, which we remove with our mucus. But the problem is, again, when people have chronic infections, and that means that the immune system remains suppressed all the time. And that happens when the body oxygen test result is less than 20 seconds. And I know this fact because, again, hundreds of my students, when we achieve 20 seconds and high numbers for the body oxygen test, this we use as a key criteria in order to reverse lactic acid cycle or Krebs cycle, so-called, in terms of production of free radicals in the body. So the body becomes much cleaner and more normalized in terms of oxygen transport. Lactic acid is reduced, fatigue is reduced, so people commonly improve, uh, greatly improve the levels of energy, they can do more exercise, their sleep is improved. But uh, in terms of production of mucus and having germs in, in the sinuses and the lungs, the immune system becomes strong. So this is a key factor that allows them to prevent frequent sinus infection in the sinuses and the lungs. So this uh, factor, again, which relates to the body oxygen level, so we can discuss it from this viewpoint. Apart from that, here we are talking about, again, frequent infections and uh, an infection which uh, uh, causes green and yellow mucus. But at later stage, I also had uh, many students who would complain, uh, say that we have clean mucus produced all the time, many times throughout the day. And in this situation, when we already improve the body oxygen test results, it's much more likely to relate to diet. So in, in terms of diet, it can be several different foods which cause much more mucus. Probably number one, like culprit or cause of extra mucus or phlegm, which people produce every day, and we are talking again now about clear mucus or phlegm, not yellow or green one, which indicates infection. The number one culprit would be dairy products. And here it can most likely relate to allergic reaction either to lactose, which is a milk sugar, or to casein, which is a main protein in dairy products. So both of them are possible. So some of those people may just take out milk from their diet and they can experience dramatic improvement. Other people may remove virtually all dairy products because it can be again uh, lactose or can be casein. So to remove casein, we need to take any milk products which has protein and it would be cheese uh, and uh, yogurt and uh, milk, of course, itself. And therefore, the safe products that would remain for them, it can be only maybe sour cream uh, to some degree, uh, and butter would be among the safest dairy products. But uh, many of them just follow the general protocol. They just take out all dairy products. The only important nutrient that you may miss would be calcium, 
because calcium is a dairy product, a good source of calcium for the human body. So, number one uh, option and method technique here in relation to diet and how to solve problem with clean mucus and flavor would be to take out dairy products. Next uh, group of products would relate to starches and carbohydrates and this type of mucus is commonly produced by two factors, not only having starches in diet and that is again wheat, uh, all type of grains which is rice, buckwheat, rye, oats and corn, um, so the complex carbohydrate products. But the problem is not only eating them but also in addition really poor chewing. So we do not produce enough saliva to digest because pancreas have very limited abilities actually to digest starches and starches like in terms of human evolution. It's a very recent uh, food that we introduced in some cultures, civilization probably about 10,000 years ago when agriculture started and in some other civilizations and groups of people like nomads uh, just even less, less than 1,000 years ago we would not have any starches in their diet. So it was really very different diet and uh, therefore human body is not well adapted to digest starches uh, but people are able to digest up to 80-90% of starches using ptyalin in saliva and that is possible if you chew really, really well, like you take really a teaspoon and chew it maybe up to 120, 150 or more times to make it totally liquid so that you don't have any swelling movement. You just continue chewing so that the food disappears naturally. And using this technique, people are able to reduce the flagment mucus production again by chewing starches really well. Or some other people, it's another very good solution these days with a lot of research to use low carb diets because low carb diet diets which reduce again these starches and, and carbohydrates they are exceptionally effective in re reduction of mucus in those people who, who have problems with mucus due to the starches. So low carb diet, therapeutic diet, uh, therapeutic ketogenic diet we have like more information on the website and we'll make videos about that. These are very powerful techniques to reduce flagment mucus and also to improve digestive health because starches are the main food which was more solid. So people require much more toilet paper because of this greasy sticky type of bacteria which forms biofilms in, in, on the surface of the small and large intestine. And when people eliminate the cause starches, then we have either completely reduced or um, greatly reduced amount of biofilms and we have less and less solid and in my best students when they get 50-60 seconds for the body oxygen test results we uh, eliminate soiling completely, I call it no soiling effect indicative great digestive health. So that's about a reduction of phlegm and yes uh, another part here of the method would relate to uh, diet types of food that would be foods which are for example meat and fish and maybe eggs to some people as well because in some people meat and fish can cause greatly increased mucus production as well especially at the level when we have 20-30 seconds for the body oxygen test results. Later actually with much better oxygenation people are able to eat the same food with um, uh, virtually no negative effects but when we improve the uh, body oxygen test results and we, 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 when we are at the level of about 20-30 seconds and that would be majority of modern uh, relatively healthy people because sick people would have less oxygen and so these people may need to eliminate and see what type of foods causes more phlegm or mucus so diet related but briefing pre-training as I explained in the beginning would be by far the best uh, natural solution and permanent solution of ha having problems with mucus and phlegm all the time.